3,200 watts. Completely off grid. Total watt hours. Starts and stops automatically. We don't have to think about this system. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. You know we are 100% off grid here in the Adirondacks. We get a lot of comments about solar and a lot of questions about solar, batteries, inverters, and so on and so forth. So today, what I want to do is give you a complete tour of our solar system and show you exactly what we have going on here. Once we began researching solar systems, we realized how important it was to have a properly sized system where all the parts would work together seamlessly. And the only way we could be guaranteed that would be to buy a kit. We knew buying the complete system as a kit would cost more than if we put it all together ourselves. However, we wanted the peace of mind that everything would work exactly as planned. We chose to buy our complete system from Unbound Solar. They had exactly the size system we wanted, including detailed installation instructions from beginning to end with one-on-one -on -one customer service if we had any questions or problems. Came with the panels, the mounting hardware for the panels, the wire, the inverter. All right, today we're gonna to start and mount these rails. The hardware to mount the rails had to be purchased separately, but Rich was able to install all of that with some help from friends. Behind me, 20 320 watt solar panels, 48 volts each. Even though they advertise this kit as a DIY system, we chose to have an electrician wire the whole thing in for us. Two strings of 10 each. So each string is wired in series for a total of 3,200 watts each string. 48 volts times 10, so each string is 480 volts. Right here, both strings come in for a total of 6,400 watts. They come into this little combiner box here with an emergency shutoff switch. I should note that that shutoff switch was not part of the kit. We had to pay for that extra. Though the kit came complete with all the PV wire, which is that photovoltaic wire, and it's what's nice about that wire is you can bury it in the ground and it's supposedly waterproof and weatherproof against the elements, but our electrician decided to go one better and he basically used a wire that could go inside of conduit and be well protected. He ran the conduit underground into our earth sheltered home. So we don't have to worry about the freeze and the thaw and the elements getting to the wire because it's all safely contained in conduit. Okay, so this is our inverter, the Solar 12K inverter. Cables coming from the solar array come in, they feed the inverter. Like I said, we bought this as a kit from Unbound Solar. This was what they offered at the time. Now they also have a bigger inverter uh, 15k inverter that was not available when we purchased this system it can be grid tied or completely off grid depending on how you set it up for us it's completely off grid uh, we did have a little trouble with uh, firmware updates on this particular unit we were able to roll back the firmware after the update and we got the unit working properly again the inverter then charges the batteries it's important to note here that the battery bank was a separately purchased package through Unbound Solar. This is because there are a lot of different choices that range in type, size, and price. 
Even though lead acid would have been significantly less expensive, we didn't want to deal with the off-gassing or having to install the batteries in an outdoor shed. Instead, we chose the lithium iron phosphate batteries, also known as Life PO4. These could be safely installed inside our home's utility room. They are currently regarded as one of the safest batteries available on the market today. These are the Fortress E-Flex batteries. Each one is 5400 watts, 105 amp hours, lithium iron phosphate batteries, basically computer control with a BMS system that keeps them monitored. They're all hooked up in parallel and they provide the power for the inverter. Our total watt hours is 16,200. This inverter is like a big computer system. It basically tells you everything you want to know about the system. What was the charge limit on the battery is 150 amps. Discharge limit 180 amps. I mean, these are big ass batteries. This here tells you the state of health, SOH. Right now the state of health is 100%. I would expect that, that to be 100% for the next few years or so. These batteries are supposed to last about 10 years before they will drop to 80%. Sun's up. Charging very quickly. In fact, this will be done soon. Taking in 5,450, using 380, and charging the batteries with 4,910 and the batteries are currently at 84%. Good deal. Another component of the system is this backup generator. This is a Kohler 14,000 watt generator. Living up here in the mountains, you're gonna to wanna to have some kind of a backup generator regardless. But mm, they have a little layer of ice on them. Oh, oh. Are you getting this? Yes, <laughs> I am. <laughs> How did you do that? I don't even know, but I... Okay. But the way this works is if our batteries go below a certain point, in our case, I have it set at 38% charge. The generator will then kick on to charge the batteries back up. Well, we have another snowy, dreary day. And the generator's running again. And the snow is settling on the panels. On, it starts and stops automatically according to what the inverter tells it to do. Okay, so what did it all cost? The solar system kit was originally $15,998.10. They gave us 10% off, which saved us $1,599.80. That made our cost $14,398.30. Plus 7% sales tax and $399 shipping, the total was $15,805.18. The shut-off disconnect box at the panels was $91. Materials for grounding the solar panels was $52.01. Installation of the panels was $1,080. The battery package was originally $13,385. The 10% off discount saved us $1,338.50. Tax was $843.25. The shipping was included with the panels above. The total battery package cost was $12,889.75. Installation and commissioning of the system, including some additional materials needed, such as conduit wire, etc. came to $4,687.74. But wait, there's more. We also received a state and federal tax credits totaling $12,882. So the cost of the entire solar system with the batteries was $22,083.32. So considering National Grid wanted upwards of thirty dollars to $35,000 to connect us to the grid, not only did we save a lot of money, but we also have no monthly electric bill. Note that we did not include the cost of the generator because we would have installed this even if we were on the grid. It's just a necessity up here in the mountains. But we do have a video on that system and what it cost us, and we will put that in a link in the description below.
This system has been working great for us. We don't have to think about this system. It does everything it's supposed to do. If the batteries get too low, generator kicks on and charges back up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that bell for notifications on new videos coming soon.